done a lot for China. He's done a lot for the game of international basketball. And, you know, I don't think there's anybody bigger or better than that could have done with When I go to China, everybody mentioned Yao Ming. It's like the God of war. Here's Yao Ming with a fadeaway. He's tied In terms of opening up doors, you know, for Chinese basketball players to come into the NBA and for their youth here in China to believe that it's possible to achieve the dream of being an NBA player. I mean, all that started from Yao. Yao around the league in terms of what other players say about him. They, we all think he's a monster. Uh. I, he was a giant. He's the only dude that makes me feel small. They say he's 7'6", but he's like my favorite convenience store. He's 7'11". All day. <laughs> he's 7'11". He's How talented was Yao? Because it was, it was he had a quick career. Tell, for his size, how skilled was he? Bro, he, he was extremely skilled. Like I said, left hand, right hand. I felt sorry for him at times because Thibodeau had Yao working so damn hard before every game, man. I'm like, bro, he gonna wear down. Like, he was killing y'all before the game. He was putting in that work. But highly skilled, I'm talking about can dribble the ball, can make the right passes, not just, you know, making a pass anyway. Passing on target, left hand, right hand. He shot 80 plus percent from the damn foul line. He, mm -hmm. he had it, bro. He had, he was highly skilled. One of them, probably most skilled big man that I can remember. The whole package, yeah. Yeah, he had the whole package. Yeah. With Yao Ming, like that was, he, he, I just never seen nothing like it. Like that guy is different. Playing with him was so easy to win. <laughs> so yeah, easy yeah. to win. People forget, like Yao Ming had a very short run, but when he was Yao Ming, that motherfucker was crazy. I've never amazing. played with anyone as dominant. Most Who's, dominant big man? Not even, most yeah. dominant. Physically, Ever? physically, Ever? physically, Ever. physically, yes. I told you, if y'all mean gets 19 points in the game this year, I'm going to kiss his ass right here in well, front he of had, everybody. He had 12 <laughs> points. Because he said... He said that Yao Ming was the best player in Houston. When he first arrived in the United States and found the entire experience overwhelming. I have to say I'm feel, feel nervous at that time. You know, in this world, it's like a lot of focus. There's also a lot of pressure that's coming. Yao Ming made Sean Bradley look like Bill Russell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. Hey, he might be a good player one day, but he ain't ready. Dealing with fans in the media was one thing. But Yao knew that his most important job was learning to play Houston Rockets basketball. If Yao was fully healthy and came around right now in today's oh, NBA, MVP. He'd be like Shaq. It's the first matchup ever between Yao Ming and Shaquille O'Neal. What do you remember when you're first stepping in the circle with Yao Ming the first time you two played each other? My first impression of Yao was, who the f is this? You know, we got to Houston and yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm like, okay, they, you know, they're trying to do like Rocky IV, Apollo Creed, all this and that. They want to give him the fan fest. So I said, okay. So, and I wanted to give him a little finesse. You know, I wanted to show him off a smooth. So I get it, I get on the post, and I go right there, he blocks it. Remember, you blocked my first three shots? Shaquille takes it inside and blocks. Yeah, that's a couple of my highlights in my career. <laughs> Crowd go crazy. Well, uh, you got that. You seven eight. Just pose the block. Right? <laughs> Get another move. Uh, he blocks it. Third it time in. he blocks it. it again. Now I'm mad. The first time I got my shot blocked three times in a row. Now I got the. Now I got to go in the playoff mode. Now I got to turn it all the way up. Neal with 31 points. Definitely a fun battle between me and him. Definitely respect him. I uh, definitely respect his culture. I just wish that, uh, you know, he didn't have those those injuries that he had. I would have loved to have more battles with him. He's probably the only guy that, that 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 really really tested me, and he tested me because he was seven eight and he was hard to move. Uh, he couldn't stop me, but guess what? I couldn't stop him either. I put him in the category of of a king. Like, hey, king, you can't stop me, but I know I can't stop that fadeaway. And he was the only guy that would catch him in the post and look at me. He just looked like y'all just look at me, and then I'd come and drop block, and he just he just shoot right over me. I'd be like, damn. If you look at it, who who now would be able to guard Shaq and Yao? Nobody. Nobody. What is it like guarding Yao Ming? Like, it's impossible. Was your, yeah, what did you it was do? Impossible. You know, Boban makes you feel like, like makes everyone look like a little kid. 
right? When yeah. remember when Boban was doing this to Anthony Davis? <laughs> yeah. and he couldn't touch it? That's what it was like for everyone with Yao Ming. One time he had me on the post and he turned around and shoot a fadeaway. And I jumped as high as I could, and he still had about three feet left. <laughs> I was like, damn, this dude is tall. So he's very agile, you know, he could play inside, he could play outside, and you know, if he didn't have those injuries, you know, he probably would have been up there in the top five centers ever to play the game. Imagine Yao Ming shot the technical fouls for He's Houston. So now, nah, crazy touch. Crazy. Crazy touch. So even touch. if you thought you did good, he was just like, a turnaround jumper, like you shoot on little kids. He's like, he was he's six <laughs> inches taller than Shaq. That's wild. Six wild. inches taller and than Shaq. His and legs big. were tree big. trunks. Yeah. And so like, I was like, ah. I mean, he was just <laughs> Would like, you call for help? What you, you can't <laughs> double team him. Draymond's not guarding him. Like that small ball, right, that right, small right, ball right. five. That ain't going. PJ Tucker. Like, they, you can't do that with a guy that size because he will just duck in, you put it up, you're going to have to clap, and yeah. then you throw it out. So, yes, somebody might have to, somebody, you know, it's tough for him in the pick and roll, but, like, yeah. he still force you to have two to three bigs on your roster. So, immediately, you lost depth on the perimeter because you had to have two or three bigs because you were going to have to foul him 18 times. <laughs> yeah. Like He's just fouling like, people out. And you, you were 230 trying to guard him? Because everyone else fouled out. We had Eddie Curry <laughs> fouled out. Jerome James fouled out. We had me. We had David Lee. And oh, everyone man. was like, who wants this? I no, was like, no. damn. <laughs> the guy made the all-star team every year. But what was what was Yao Ming like as a teammate? Great teammate. Well, Yao was, he, it was unique because he was such a star. And I, I thought I was going to see something different. Like maybe Yao have the big boy Rolls Royce. You know what I mean? Like maybe security and all this other stuff. And maybe don't practice total opposite humble coach uh rook adelman would have to tell him stop running so we would do these running drills after practice and y'all would do every drill y'all didn't set out no drills but that's not typical you can ask anybody right now on teams when it's time to do suicides people that are smaller than y'all y'all ran every single suicide when he didn't have to when he should not have been running. Nah, if the if the bench player is gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. That's Yao Ming. I'm used to being taller than everybody else, or at least being eye level. And with Yao Ming, it was something different. He was so tall, he had a height advantage. And something that was weird to me was I literally could not see the ball coming up the court when I was behind him. So like guys would be like, why didn't you call it the scrimmage? I couldn't I couldn't see you. I really couldn't see him. And so Yao presented a lot of challenges, especially trying to guard him. He had some very good moves, he had counters. He had spins, he had some step backs. For the most part, it was very hard for me to guard Yao Ming because he really didn't have to jump much he, and he kept the ball high. If you really watch Yao in his highlights, he just has that ball and he's moving it here and you respond to his fake so much because he keeps the ball high, he's incredibly tall, he was very skilled and he had a lot of stuff in his game and where well, they would run a screen and roll on this side of the court with Tracy McGrady and I would have to respond and come off of Yao's body and then he would just duck in that lane and get big and catch the ball. And there was nothing I could do a lot of times. Playing against Yao was very challenging. I mean, the minute I got traded there, I had a conversation with Jeff Van Dunn. So mind you, I'm just coming off of uh, NBA scoring title two years in a row. So I get, <laughs> I get to uh, Houston and the first thing he tell me, he was like, you're not gonna lead the league in scoring. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. First time. Uh, yeah, I'm like, not, like, not like, welcome to Houston. Yeah, hey, not man. welcome to the team. He's like, uh, you know, I'm just going to tell you, you're not going to lead the league in scoring. I'm like, Damn, well, what, what's going to happen? It was basically just like, you know, we got a 7'5, seven, 7'6 seven, dude that, you know, we got to get the ball to. Uh, we're going to play inside out. I never played with a big dude. So it was an adjustment for me to play with a big guy. Uh, the pace was slower. I mean, I had to change my whole game on, on how I went about it. But once we got it, once we figured it out, man, I mean, shit, we was great together. Y'all was a deadly combo. We played y'all in Golden State. Remember, mm -hmm. Al had to go at y'all. Too big. <laughs> hey, Too big. Listen, bro. We had Al go at y'all. <laughs> oh, we used to, hey, we used to try to kill Al. Whoever was, because y'all was, y'all played that small ball. Man, it was small. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever, whoever was guarding y'all, they was gonna have a long night because we were gonna feed. I didn't care about scoring that. Hey, big fella, you going to work tonight because there was nothing y'all could do with it. Y'all had to. Y'all had to double. 
Hey, Al Team used to say his whole body was fucked up. Al wouldn't even want to play in those games. Al would get pissed off because that was the kind of... Nelly used to fuck with Al, so he would start him randomly, but he always started him against yeah. Yao, and Al used to hate that shit. He did him so I ain't dirty, today. man. You can't. Come on, man. What, what, what Al gonna do with that big fella, man? And he had left hand, he had right hand. Can't do nothing about that, bro. But the funny thing, the first couple of times I'm China, language barrier, I never knew he spoke English. So one day I hit him with a nice bing bing on the baseline. Ha <laughs> ha! Shot the boom. He's like, nice move, brother. And I was like, you talk English? He's like, yeah, I talk English. I was like, why you didn't tell me? He said, Shaq, you never talked to me. I was like, man. So after that moment, like, you know, we, you know, really, really became close.